Bahamas Carnival 2023 Mass in Paradise. If you go in, this is everything you need to know. <laughs> First and foremost, I feel like I always have to make the disclaimer because I've seen so many examples where people are mixing up carnival and junkanoo. Junkanoo is basically a tradition that has extended from like slavery days in the Bahamas. It's traditionally like a parade that's held on New Year's Day, Boxing Day throughout the year, but it is definitely not carnival. Now carnival itself in the Bahamas is less than 10 years old and it is definitely modeled after the Caribbean carnivals that are held in Trinidad. And it it was brought about as a means to diversify the tourism product. It's still a good time. It is still a good reason to come to the Bahamas. Let's get into the deets about how to plan for Bahamas Carnival, how to participate, what to expect. So when is Bahamas Carnival? It's actually on Saturday, May 20th, 2023 this year. Recommended dates of travel are, I want to say give or take, come in on the Thursday, leave the Monday or the Tuesday. But you could also do Bahamas Carnival from like a Friday to Sunday. The road march is on the Saturday. It starts at around mid-morning and ends after sunset. I recommend people fly into NAS or Linden Pinland International Airport. What I love about flying in and out of Nassau Airport is the fact that Nassau actually has pre-clearance for any U.S. visitors. So you don't have to worry about the long immigration lines when you do come back to the U.S. or if you're connected in the U.S. So that's something I absolutely love. Bahamas Carnival itself takes place in Nassau, New Providence, on the island of New Providence in the city of Nassau. New Providence is the capital of the Bahamas. It's a very small island among 700 islands and keys. The Bahamas is an archipelago, just FYI, it's not just one place. I have a whole blog guide on Bahamas Carnival that I'm going to link in the description box. So if you guys have any questions, just refer to that, or you can leave me a comment like this video, share it, or even send me an email if you need help with like itineraries. Or where can I stay for Bahamas Carnival? Now there's a plethora of hotels, Airbnbs that you can pick and choose from because honestly, tourism is one of the biggest industries in the Bahamas. It's literally almost like it's bread and butter. I recommend hotels like Bahama Resorts, Atlantis, you can stay at Compass Point Beach Resort. If you are renting an Airbnb, best areas I wanna say are like around downtown Nassau, West Bay Street, close to the route, close to the fish fry. Um, you can even stay over Paradise Island, another island that's kind of connected to Nassau with, by two bridges. You just have to pay a toll every time you go back and forth and you have to drive over or you can walk over, but I would recommend driving. You can also stay in other areas, but I've outlined a whole list of areas on the blog. So check out the guide below if you want to, you know, shop around. I think those specific areas, so like Cable Beach Strip, West Bay Street, over PI, um, downtown Nassau. They're all close to beaches. They're close to um, restaurants, shopping, convenience stores, grocery stores, restaurants, places you can eat. One of the biggest places to eat is Awaki Fish Fry. And a lot of restaurants are out there, bars, lounges, where you can get authentic Bahamian food. You can get drinks like Sky Juice, Bahamian beers, carnival costumes. Bands usually launch typically a little bit later than for Bahamas Carnival. Just because a lot of the time we, we have Junkanoo in the, during the holiday season. Then you also have uh, Christmas holidays, New Year's, the Sad and the Third. So give or take around February, mid-February, maybe even late February is when you'll start to see costume band launches. Bands that typically have costumes for Bahamas Carnival are Bahamas Masqueraders, Enigma, Ecstasy. We have new bands like Mass Chaos, also Hypnotic. You All these bands you can find on the list in my blog. Just check it out. You can go straight to their Instagram pages, see if they launch, if they have websites up, and check out the costumes. The going range for a costume is, I want to say a backline starts at about 300, 350. It also goes for males. And then they go all the way up on what you want on your costume and what the band is offering. Now for carnival events, Bahamas Carnival Experience actually puts on like events, a concert lineup for the entire weekend. 
You can check them out at www.carnivalbahamas.com. It has like your big major soca artists. They bought Matt Shell. Like he did a soca mashup to Bahamian music, which was really nice. So Bahamian artists are there. Sometimes they mix it up, bring in a little bit of dance hall. There's other events that happen are like La Vie, which is an all-inclusive. That typically happens like the Friday. Juve typically happens on the Thursday. There are a couple of Juve groups. So I've only played with Duddy Crew 242. You can follow me on socials because I tend to post a lot of this stuff to my stories and whatnot. If you're looking for more information or you can send me a DM or email me. Try to stay until Monday because the Sunday after the road or jumping in the line is mostly like a cruise day. So you have waves, which is like a cruise it happens on like a barge. And then you have Suits Bahamas, which is a really popular fete. A lot of people try to get on that boat. And then you also have like, you know, just you could either go to the beach. You could do whatever you want to cool down. The beach is always right there. Um, I'm pretty sure there's going to be more events this year. So just stay tuned. How to get around Nassau. There's several ways. You can rent a car. It starts on average like $60 a day. Gas can be, it can go be really pretty up there. Like the average, I think, is like five to seven dollars a gallon. It really just depends on what the economic climate looks like at that moment in time. You can also rearrange rides through like Majestic Tours, concierge companies, like Gombe Concierge is a company, and they have a transportation option allotted in their Bahamas Carnival packages. If you don't want to plan your Bahamas Carnival, you can actually go to them, Gombe Concierge, and they'll plan it for you. Another way to get around is public transportation. If you are close to the downtown area, now you really have to be vigilant because anywhere you go, you have to just make sure you're safe. It is a viable option, but the only thing is that the buses all run from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. It might be a different schedule on the weekend, but they all stop in downtown Nassau, but you also have to know the routes. All the routes are different depending on the Jitney system. So like some routes you have like 21A, that goes a certain part of Nassau. Um, <laughs> some of 7A, they go to a certain part of Nassau. If you're gonna do that, just make sure you know what route you're supposed to take, which bus you're supposed to take, because it could be confusing. What and where to eat. Now, if you don't know, the Bahamas is known for its specialty dish, conch, and literally you make it any type of way. Fried conch, cracked conch, conch fritters, scorched conch, grilled conch, conch salad. Literally, you could even eat it raw if you want. <laughs> conch salad is basically raw. It's kind of like a ceviche, but with conch. One of the biggest touristy areas to eat or find authentic Bahamian food is Arawaki, which is also known as the fish fry. There's a ton of Bahamian restaurants, lounges, bars across on this strip. It's really close to Junkanoo Beach. So if you are staying downtown Nassau, it's actually walking distance. Other places you can check out for food for like breakfast foods. I love Cricket Club. I love Nesbitt's for breakfast foods like sauce, chicken sauce, sheep tongue sauce, pig feet sauce, stew fish, oil fish and grits. I love going to Bamboo Shack for a conch snack sometimes they, they also sell breakfast too like yellow grits and tuna which is also a bahamian specialty um you can also follow pinpoint bahamas because they actually review some of the newer restaurants and more elevated dining if you will if you're interested in that as well as like other foodie places that i will include in the description box below so things to do in the bahamas my favorite thing to do obviously is go to the beach like i have my favorite beach which is nirvana beach um, there's a beach bar there it's like five dollars entry there's also other things that you you can take advantage of like you can see some of the island you can see some of the island's history like fort charlotte uh, fort montague uh, there's pirates of nassau you can also do the swimming with the pigs everybody wants to do swimming with the pigs but a lot of people don't know like the authentic swimming with the pig experience is in the exumas daniel key to be more precise and you can actually charter a boat to go there through like you know there's a lot of different charters that offer like an all-inclusive experience you can also do more like a commercialized experience like power boat adventures where they feed you there's also like day trips to like rose island pearl island or you can do water sports or you can just chill on the beach there's you know art history national art gallery of, of the bahamas duncan museum pompeii museum straw market of the queen's staircase all of these different things and more so tips for bahamas carnival i would say definitely dress um, according to the weather like around that time may the weather is usually hot just bring light clothing like fet wear attire swimsuits comfortable shoes you know lots of sunscreen your hat if you want to you know get a sim card i would say try an e-sim program like um Aerolo even get a physical sim card from alive or btc that could definitely work just know too that the route for bahamas carnival can be pretty lengthy last time i went i was white 
and it was really hard. Last but not least, I think on average, you're looking at spending a minimum between like, want to say 1800 to 2500 or a little bit more, depending on you and what your preferences are for carnival. And also it depends on where you're staying, who you're going with, if you're with a group. But that's it. Let me know if you guys have any questions about Bahamas Carnival that I didn't answer in this video. I would love to answer them in the comments or you can send me an email. If you have any questions about itineraries, let me know. And that's it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you guys are coming to Bahamas Carnival. All right, see you later. Bye.